What's up guys, this is Square2448 with a Farming Simulator 2015 Haywire Ranch video and today we will be renting a chaff harvester and we will be harvesting the corn on field 6 and transporting it to the biogas and then we will prep some fields for some seeding. So uh, we'll get started by renting the harvester and uh, we don't have that much money so we're just going to rent it for two hours which is a perfect amount of time for us go to headers select that rent it for two hours that's perfect and then we will also be renting a larger grain cart that way it's more efficient than keep driving back and uh, this will save on gas and all that so uh, we'll go over here Sect on over, and uh, since I don't want to hire the worker, I'm just going to tow the uh, grain cart right behind this. So uh, I'll do that, and I think that would be awesome for us, because uh, we save on money by doing it ourselves, and uh, yes. So I'll uh, take this on over to the field for us, and uh, we'll get started then. Okay, so we have arrived at field 6, and uh, let's get this unfolded and uh, get harvesting here. Going to unfold the header, going to switch on over to the uh, harvester, raise the pipe, lower it, and uh, get this started here. We want to get as much of this and uh, not leave any waste behind on this field, because... Uh, we make a lot of money off this amazing corn when we chaff it and uh, sell it at the biogas. So we'll be harvesting this and then we will go and cultivate a, a few fields once this harvest is over. And I will be trying to show you guys a little bit more corn harvest than I did in the last video. A lot of you guys asked for a little bit more harvesting clips instead of just every time I need to empty so that's what we will be doing and uh, yeah it should be pretty cool and I'm uh, just going to outline the field now and I did have a really nice modded one that had a really big header but I didn't like how the cab was shaking because of the terrain and I thought that this had a much steadier cab and it would be better for this video and if any of you know of any light mod that can make my maps and my gameplay a little bit brighter please let me know I'm always looking to uh, increase the light in this uh, game and to uh, make it awesome so yes I will be showing you guys a bunch of clips of this corn harvest and it should be a lot of fun so uh, hope you guys enjoy and uh, this trailer is really big that's why I uh, wanted to spend a couple thousand and rent one Alright, we have completed one and a half passes around this field and our grain cart got full. And uh, I brought the John Deere tractor from the farm over here. And uh, we aren't going to drive this harvester all the way to the uh, biogas. So we're going to back up a little, disconnect the trailer, then drive forward a bit. And uh, turn this off and jump in the John Deere. And a hook up to this and take it on over to the biogas and uh, put it in the silo. Okay, so we're going to unload this into the silo and I would like to know the exact percentage of each trailer that way we know how much trailer loads we need to be able to Flurment the silos. So we're just going to drive in here and uh, unload it. And like I said, we need 10% in the silo. And it uh, looks to be no working textures. And I'm not sure exactly what happened there. I'm going to have to look into fixing that. But this is a solid 4%. So that's awesome. So we'll need at least one more and we will be getting that 
So I'm just going to keep repeating this process until the harvest is complete. Okay, so this harvest is just about over. We have one more pass here, and then we'll go unload this and take this back to the shop. That way we don't pay any penalties for, for uh, keeping it too late. So uh, let's select here, close that, and uh, fold up this, and let's go unload this in perfect amount. 92%, <laughs> so I'm lucky that it did not get... Uh, 200 and half to empty it just for a little bit left so let's dump this in the correct silo here and uh, I believe there's already 13% which is good let's turn that on so that we can see in 13% so I'm thinking we're gonna have a pretty good payout on this and uh, we'll stay here we'll fully compact it and we'll cover it up that way we don't have to come back here and I'm going to look into fixing these textures I'm gonna have to go through the uh, map files see if I can fix it because I really want those textures to work it's not realistic for it to be white like this so I'm gonna fix that for the next video hopefully and uh, once this is compacted we will drive off it and then we will blanket the silo that way uh <laughs> we don't get stuck on and destroy the blanket. And, uh, yeah, so the blanket's on now, which is awesome. And uh, that's going to ferment. And, uh, hopefully next video we will be selling all that and uh, making some money. So now let's transport this on over to the store. And, uh, that way we don't pay any penalties. We are pulling into the shop now. And I will just leave it here, and uh, they will park it where they want it, and then we will switch on over to cultivating. And I will park it right outside the garage door like this. That's perfect. Let's switch on over to this John Deere, and I have to remember to uh, get on out this way. And uh, I think we need to upgrade our cultivator, so uh, let's go to the store with this and uh, we won't sell this since they need to move that one first so we'll put it outside and they will sell it for us when they get a chance and uh, we'll sell this because uh, this is pretty small and uh, we have the funds to upgrade it to a larger one which will help us out and I'm uh, excited that uh, we're upgrading everything slowly but it's pretty nice I'm going to shut this, actually no, we need to uh, unhook and I'll walk inside the store, so uh, we'll just leave it outside right here, stay with the tractor right there, let's walk inside and uh, let's purchase this tractor, I mean cultivator, <laughs> and uh, let's look at the cultivators. So we have this one that goes on the front and this one that goes on the back. So this one's cheaper than that actually, wow. So that, that's a pretty good difference. And uh, you, when you sell something, you get half of it. So that's actually pretty good. Let's uh, purchase this now and uh, walk back out to our tractor. And uh, let's go cultivate a field and uh, we'll probably seed it in the next video or start the seeding in this video gonna put that in and I will be adding in manual attaching I think that would make this way more realistic than uh, the tractor doing it but uh, this is a pretty large cultivator which I'm glad about it. it's gonna make it so that we are efficient so uh, let's head on over to the field it's just right next to the farm and I really like doing these uh, fields that are pretty close to us so uh, yes really excited 
like I said, that uh, we are upgrading in this. You could look at it as a downgrade since uh, it's cheaper, but I'm thinking that that could be just the brand and uh, it's a larger cultivator and I, and I think of upgrading as larger equipment and more efficient than the money wise. So it will lower this and uh, I'm not sure exactly what this is here. I'm not sure. Let's uh actually leave this right here because I the other one was a plow. This one is just a cultivator. So we might have just made a mistake. And let's actually take this back to the store. And uh yeah, <laughs> we might have just made a really big mistake here. So let's take a look once we get back here at the difference between both of these and see why this one's not plowing it up. Oh yeah, you can see the discs in the front of that. So it looks like <laughs> what I wanted to do will not happen and uh, we'll leave this one here. We'll come get it later, but at least we know now that uh, you have to have the cultivator with the discs in the front. And uh, that's a bummer though that we spent nine thousand dollars on that but that's not that bad for a mistake like this so looks like we're gonna have to use a small one that we were given when we started out the farm which is completely fine and uh yes but if any of you have any cool tractors or mods that you would like me to use please let me know in the comments below and i'll gladly use them so uh, we'll be cultivating and this doesn't do it yeah that's really strange actually on uh, why this isn't so if anyone knows in the comments please let me know but I'm thinking that we uh, seed it since we're having so much trouble and I'm not sure why if any of you like I said no please let me know I'm not I've never had to deal with a field that dropped that so uh yes whoa this uh is pretty heavy on the back of this and like i said stay tuned for the next video where we will be making a lot of money and uh, we'll be doing some cool jobs around the farm to uh prepare for the animals and i'm really excited and glad that uh we're gonna branch out into animals but i would like to have everything ready for them Instead of buying them and not having food, I would like the food to be ready for them. And uh, I think that makes a little bit more sense. And then if any of you guys have any cool ideas, please let me know. And uh, we'll let this fill up really fast here and uh, get on over to the field. We will be planting canola since that is the highest offering value in this town by any company. And we always like to plant the uh, crop that makes us the most money for the same amount of work. And uh, we will be fertilizing this. First, I need to turn this on. I was like, why isn't that working? Uh-oh, that is grass. We need canola. So let's plant canola here. And, uh, yeah. So if any of you... Now what's the problem with this? Please let me know. But uh, this is not wanting to work. So uh, let's switch on over to a new field. And I'm sorry about this guys. I do not know what this is on the field. Never had to deal with it on my uh, single player games that I've played. So uh, we'll switch on over to this field right here. Not that big of a deal. This one's actually pretty big. And I can't wait to do this and hopefully we will have the new harvester I can't wait for that so we'll seed here for a little and then we'll jump in the fertilizer and we will fertilize this that way we get even more money because this does not have a built in fertilizer and I think the spreader that I would like to get is one that's built in because you do double the work in one pass and I think that's going to make us efficient. So I think that's going to help us out a lot. Which I'm glad about. 
and uh, yes we did harvest this field in the last video but uh, like I said this is a totally different save game because I had to update the map and uh, ev the terrain was different and everything so yes we'll uh, keep going here and uh, switch on over to the small tractor here and uh, let's purchase a fertilizer just a small one for now and uh, let's see if I can find it I'm thinking wow this is double I'm thinking this one so let's go pick this up okay so here is our fertilizer that we just purchased and uh, this one does not have the working function where the cover comes off but uh, if you guys want me to use the fertilizer bags which I think would make this a lot more realistic please let me know and then uh, we will purchase a modded version and uh, trade this one in for that I think that would be awesome to do filling it up now here right behind these silos there's a really nice shelf area and that's perfect really do like how they use all the space on the farm and now let's head on over and we'll start fertilizing but I'll finish the seeding and fertilizing off camera and then we'll be back to do some cool farming and uh, please let me know if you guys want me to use a soil mod and that just makes it so weeds grow and then we have to fertilize it so that nothing like weeds grow and stuff I think that would be awesome that would also increase the realism that I really do strive to do in all my videos so I hope you guys enjoyed we'll turn this off really fast I hope you guys enjoyed please let me know in the comments and like always like comment and subscribe